lies a tribe inhabited in 77 communities now we call barangays. Living in a productive land covered with great green, luscious forests and mountain ranges. The first dato is named Duigoni, the son of a Moro businessman from Mindanao named the Wong. until he finally came to land. Barter has been his primary objective but was fascinated by a native lady named Isaac whom he married and spent the rest of his life with. Upon the baptism of Raina Juana and having Humabon of Cebu, Christianity spread throughout the Visayas. Jesuits missionaries came to Leyte and the Wog and Isaac embraced Christianity. Duigon was baptized together with his tribe and he was gifted with the image of the Holy Infant Jesus, Señor Santo Niño. Duigon, being a bachelor, was fascinated by the beauty of the most gracious lady in town named Pitik Mingao and was and asked her and asked her hand for them to, mar to get married. It cost his early death because of jealousy of other men who was also trying to win the woman's heart. The death of Doigon broke Pitik Mingao's heart and brought her a lot of misery. She lost everything she had and wandered into the forest. Nature shared the emp emptiness of the woman's heart and long drought came in the whole province. Rain has been very scarce and months of scorching heat caused sources of water to dry out. Pitik Mingao, weak as she was, in her journey, was looking, was also looking for water to drink. She was hopeless and was about to embrace death. She prayed to the Holy Infant Jesus and was about to close her eyes when a big bird flew over her head, warbling in the sec, in the sound of Buraburon, Buraburon. Weak as she was, she managed to follow her. in the middle of the green trees. The bird dipped his beak to get some water, which Pipik Mingao did too. The water brought her to life and made her conscious and realized that life has to move on. The bird is an eagle and now the national bird of the Philippines. The Philippine eagle, which now, which can now be found at the virgin forest between Cabana and Mahagnao. The bird continued its journey and Pipik Mingao did so. They discovered several springs in almost all parts of the mountain. She informed the tribesmen and women and spread the greatness of the Holy Child Jesus with the miracle help of the Philippine Eagle in discovering the Buraburon scattered all over the town. People all over Leyte gathered to fetch the clean and potable water which later then has brought pottery industry into the lives of the people. The, ba the Banga or Bisok is a container made out of red clay that when stored with water becomes cool and refreshing to drink. The people would place it over their heads in carrying them. From the word Burabon, which means spring, and the Buraburon, which means many spring, the abundant source of water, which gave them the only municipality in Leyte with two water rights from the National Water Resource Board, with safe drinking water. Hence, Burab Burabon, now Burabon, uh, from Burab Burabon, yeah. now Burabon, the first class municipality and the spring capital of Leyte. Viva Burabon Festival! Honorable Mayor Juanito Rumiron, Tagaan Nato ni Magusong Apakpak, and Buong Pasok! Buong Pasok! Buong Pasok! Your time starts now!
Salama.